Hi, I'm Brendan Slade. I'm Director of Tools and Embedded Ecosystem here at NXP Semiconductor. Today I'm going to be telling you about our new smartphone quick jack solution. Now this solution is going to be very interesting if you're an app developer looking to add external sensor information to your application or to augment the touch screen that you have on a smartphone with something like a joystick. If you're a product developer looking to add smartphone control for your end product, then you can use QuickJack for that. It enables you to get that sensor information to the cloud, and you can do all of that without having to use the lightning connector or the USB connector, depending on the smartphone you have. Okay, let's see the QuickJack board in action. Very easy to set up. Just plug it into your audio socket on your smartphone. So I'm using an iPhone 4 here. It could be a, an iPhone 5S or 5C or an Android device. And so first you need to download the app. I've already done that. It's called NXP Quick Dash Jack. So I've already loaded that. So I'm just going to start it up here. So it's a very simple GUI, very easy to use. You just use these buttons here to turn the LEDs on and off. I can see the position of the joystick here reported on the screen below. And I can also see what the temperature is. I have to enable the thermometer first. And there it goes to room temperature. And as I put my thumb on here, we'll see the temperature just change slightly versus my body temperature. Okay. So you can see it's a very simple, easy to use GUI, but a great place to start your application development. So let's take a closer look at the smartphone QuickJack solution and how it works. The board is based around the LPC812 microcontroller and that provides all the control for the LEDs, the temperature sensor, and the joystick, and also any external sensors you may want to add to the board. The connection to the smartphone is made through the audio connector, as we've seen, and one of those audio channels coming out of the smartphone is used for energy harvesting, so it powers the board without the need for an external power supply. The other audio channel coming out of the smartphone is used to transmit data to the QuickJack board, and the mic channel is used to transmit data in the other direction. The board uses Manchester encoding and decoding to transmit data between the smartphone and the QuickJack board. And that encoding and decoding is done on the QuickJack end by the LPC812. Manchester communication protocol uses transitions to transmit data over a fixed period of time. So a zero is expressed as a low to high transition and a one by a high to low transition. And by transmitting them over a fixed amount of time, you can decode the data at either end. This enables data to be transmitted through an inductive or capacitive line, in other words, without a DC component. So you can go to lpcware.com and download all the source code for the microcontroller, for those applications for the smartphones, schematics, application notes and getting started guides. So everything you need is there on lpcware.com. You can get ordering information for the board from nxp.com. Thanks for listening, and we're really excited to see what you guys create. Thanks a lot.